So we're standing in the Hope House. The Hope House is what we call the re-entry phase of our program. And to understand what the purpose of this phase of the program is, we need to look at the program as a whole. The first eight months when the men arrive here at our campus, they, they experience what we call the training phase. And as part of the training phase, you get spiritual principles, spiritual practices that give you a new approach and a new way to look at life, a new way to cope with life. I've grown a lot spiritually. Uh, uh, I, I, include, I include God in everything I do now. Uh, anything that I'm going through, I, I'll stop, take time, pray, you know, and God, it's amazing how God works and how God answers you. You may not hear it right then, but you, you'll see it through somebody else or somebody else might give you an answer later on down the road. But the important part is having an actual application of those spiritual principles and, and spiritual practices. And so when men transition to the final phase of the program, the reentry phase, the Hope House, they get the opportunity to put those practices actually into practice. I know when I first got to the Hope House, just going to the store, you know, you, you're around all the temptations that's kept you from uh, the center. It's, uh, it's got us in kind of a shelter to me, I guess would be a good way to put it. And uh, it helps us, it helps prepare us for the real world. As a part of this phase of the program, the men get their own job here in the city of Memphis. The men find their own small group, they find their own church, and they have the opportunity to go out and put into practice and put into play what they learned in the training phase of the program. The center is really going to help you get down to the Hope House and just become a better person. Like we, we were addicts, so we're known to like uh, drugs and everything, alcohol, but at the center will work. And once you get down to the Hope House, you will just, you just be amazed of what you've accomplished at the eight months that you've been at the center. Many things have the opportunity of happening when men are in the reentry phase. They learn how to budget their money because they're making, they're making their own money. They're, they're bringing home a paycheck every single week. And so they're learning how to designate where that money needs to go, how to prioritize, uh, how to spend their money. You get to make your own money now. You get to uh, go out and uh, buy your own food and everything. And uh, you get to uh, experience like the real life uh, uh, situations and problems. And it actually helps you become a better person. And, um, just being, just being transitioned back into life. They start to build new relationships as a part of their church. They serve, they volunteer at their church. Um, they participate in Celebrate Recovery and meet other people who are going through similar situations in life as they are. They begin family restoration. We've seen lots of guys welcome back relationships, restore relationships that, that were once broken and that were once lost. And it's the application of the practices that they experience in the first eight months of the program that allows them to do that in a healthy, um, practical way. Like it's getting my life back together. It's restoring my family. Uh, the center did restore my family uh, to a point, but I get to call them every day now. Each man who enters this phase of the program has the opportunity to choose one of two different paths or tracks. Me personally, I, when I was a student in this program, I chose the intern track because I believe that God had called me to serve and to give back to this ministry, which is why I'm standing here talking to you now. And so a guy can choose to go down the traditional path or the traditional track where they're going to get a job in Memphis. Uh, they're going to begin saving for their future. And once they graduate, they're going to go back out into the world uh, in the traditional sense return to their families, return to their homes. Here working at Lindy's has just been a blessing. Uh, it's just it's just a blessing to be in the Hope House now, uh, to know that I'm one step closer to being home. Or a guy can decide that he wants to participate in the intern track. And on the other side of the intern track is working as a staff member here at Adult Teen Challenge in Memphis. And so if you decide you're going to be an intern, uh, you get designated one of our intern positions, whether you're managing our thrift store or whether you're participating in our coffee enterprise. You're still in the same house, you're still in the same program, but the activities that you're a part of and the decisions you make have a little bit different focus. Uh, the reason I chose to become an intern is because God put it up on my heart. You know, There's a lot of incidents that led me up to coming to Team Challenge. Uh, he saved my life and give me grace so many times when I didn't deserve it. I feel like this will be part of me giving back. It's, it's you know, helping these guys and and uh, showing them that, it, uh, you know, this might be giving them a little bit of hope. You know, somebody like me come through it and made it through the program, you know, and hopefully it'll, it'll 
give them some hope as well. Also, we create an environment here of, of community living because one of the important things that you need to know how to do when you're re-entering your life is to live with other people and, and to uh, manage relationships and manage personalities. And so the guys live here in this house and they learn how to get along and they learn how to share space and they learn how to share life and live life alongside other people who are trying to make the same good choices that they are. If you know somebody that you believe could benefit from anything that I've just described, then please find a way to reach out to us. You can find information on the website, you can fill out an application on the website, or you can call our hotline.